Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Ecliptic Spiritualist Channel. It is Friday. <laughs> it is Friday, the 6th of March, 2020, and it is Friday. So how will you spend this wonderful first Friday in March? I hope you will spend it well. Don't forget that we are going to be entering daylight savings time here in the Northern Hemisphere. And those that are maybe in the Southern Hemisphere, your times will shift as well. So don't forget that's going to be happening over the weekend. And we've got the full moon, super moon, full moon in Virgo coming up on Sunday. So stay tuned for our full moon, super moon vigil, our that for $11.99, go on and start purchasing now for Monday. It's $11.99 per candle. Don't sit on that because some of you have been procrastinating and not moving. And this is one of the uh, other super moons that's wonderful springing forward, okay? So use that energy to your best interest so that you can flow in your life, all right? We work in unison. As well, don't forget the full moon in Virgo Ritual and intentions video will be coming up as well. So pay attention and get ready to, to work your magical practice the way that you are going to be guided to do it within your home or in your practice wherever you do so. So that that way you are exercising your spiritual rights. <laughs> so let's get it in. Dun, 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 dun. Now, we have the King of Wands as our card for today. And we have the Ace of Swords as our clarifier, as our clarifier, okay? Now, keep in mind that I want to stress that these are general readings. They are not individual readings, so they may or may not resonate with you, but that's okay. If you follow all week long, you will see that they line up together, They and you will see how they will affect your life because they will affect your life, okay? So with this King of Wands... All right. You have a clear vision. OK, you have a clear vision. Now is the time to put those uh, that those ideas that you have to work. But you have to assemble a team. You're going to put those wonderful ideas to work, but you have to assemble a team to get it off the ground and moving. You make you have to have a groups of people or extensions of yourself to orchestrate what you need to have done. Okay. And you're very clear about it, but you have to assemble other people to to assist you to bring forth what it is that you're doing. So this is some areas what the divine and source was telling me about in reference to when I was uh, meditating over this message that is the area of purchasing you know co-workers are part of this assembling purchasing things co-workers party planning vacationing um business ideas there's a lot of um uh, wedding ideas that are coming in as well also uh purchases numerous purchases that are starting to come in as small purchases and big purchases but at the same time, you need to trust those that are assembling, alone, aligning themselves with you as a team or start really working on assembling the proper team that will execute what it is that you so desire. You already passed the creative stages, all of that. You just need to go in and get busy and assemble. And what that's going to require is you to sit down with yourself, your higher self spiritually and ask the source, the creator, the divine, aligning yourself with the universe and your spirit guides to be sought off after the right ones that will fit your quest, that will fit the things that you desire in your life and trust and believe those things will align themselves but you're going to have to take time to do that and do the work so that you are assembling a proper team as well we have the ace of swords we have the ace of swords okay trust your abilities to lead trust your abilities to lead now <laughs> there's no in between trust your abilities to lead Lead, L-E-A-D, you have confidence to do so. Um, you know, there's been some bumpy roads in the past that have had you a little, sometimes it, and that's just part of life, you know, challenges where we, um, you know, just run into challenges that sometimes can take our confidence when we're leading. But we go through those things at times to make us stronger and to be better in our leadership roles 
whether it be in a work environment, a business environment, in your home environment, leading your family and children in the right direction, or your loved one, your partner, whatever way we need to be able to lead and they need to be able to trust your assembled team, okay? So that's going to require you also as a energy is flowing here as a king of wands. You know, it's also going to require you to um, exercise yourself with balance in your leadership, but but not with the iron fist so much, but with a fist of a sharpness and clarity and just trusting what you know what you know. Um, don't try to assemble things with the iron fist because in this arena right now for this that you're trying to do, that will not work. You have to work in a team sport type of mentality that will get the job done that you so desire, even in your workplace and those that are with you. So be conscious of that and how you handle other people. Make sure you're being patient and listening to your higher self to hear the way that you should go about the matters that are most important to you for assembling this um, team. Now, for the early mornings of February, you know, I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm on February, <laughs> but today for this Friday, March the 6th, the moon will enter into Leo and will remain in that in that sign till Sunday and Sunday morning, okay? And use this creative fire energy of the moon in Leo, which will be today and Saturday for self-expression to show the world what you love and what you are passionate about. Well, we're coming up on that full moon, you know, on, on Monday. So Mercury is still slowing down at the point in time soon to go direct. So this transit in the lunar phase feels like a buildup of energy with no place to go. So we make him feel a little stressed, a little frustrated. I recommend you to do to do the best thing is to stay in a creative place without thinking too hard or trying to push against things that are not working just for now. Okay, so just flow. <laughs> We've been flowy a lot. So we, we just have to be respectful of that energy. You know, I've been, you know, flowy and, and I've, I've felt some challenges, you know, not challenges. Well, yeah, challenges, meaning me trusting in that flowy energy, even though I want to push, plow, push, plow with Mercury in retrograde and all these transits that was going on and the new moon and this full moon energy. However, I just had to uh, release, you know, release that that part of me that wants to push for and just reset myself to just trust and believe in just being for right now. And then taking each day as it comes. I'm still prioritizing and putting things in my calendar and in my planner but however, taking things at a different place, because I know once Mercury starts to go direct, there's a dip, that engine starts to roar, you know, more, and then you will have that go, go, go energy. But Mercury teaches us to reset, you know, to relax, to reset, to rewrite, to regroup, to relook at things, revisit things, you know. Sometimes old people from my past come in, memories come from my past to teach us something or to have us to, you know, heal from something that we needed to heal from or maybe bring us back to an area that was once challenged and it taught us something. So now it's teaching us how to integrate that lesson into today and then execute it. And then the way you execute it will be prosperous in your life in abundance. So that's a divine download right now. So it's very important to take the reset, take the recheck, you know, reset, regroup, re just allow yourself to be there. And then when when Mercury starts to move and plow a little bit more forward and start to go direct in a few days or so, you know, we'll feel that energy going forward. It's just like even some of my clients that I serve in a lot of areas, you know, everything is why I do it. Hey, uh, 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 instead of just allowing patience, you know, because sometimes things are just re doing that to teach you something so it can allow 
At once, Mercury goes direct for everything to shift and then plow forward. So these are life lessons. We live in a society in this culture and all cultures pretty much around the world, except for some areas that are a little bit more remote, where the U.S. is, you know, more is better. You know, less is not great, but more is better. Where sometimes you just have to KIS, keep it simple, move in the right pace, you know, KIS is, is a word that needs to be just a, a place into our, our vocabulary on an ongoing basis. Keep it simple, KIS. And then things will be not so, so, sometimes so concrete, but we will allow things to flow in and just be and accept when, you know, the unexpected comes in. So apparently this is meant for someone this Friday today, okay, on the 6th. So I love you for watching today. Don't forget to click that wiggly bell down below, ding dong ding, to make sure you're getting the daily fresh tarot card reading that comes to you on a daily basis. Don't forget that we offer intuitive readings that will change your life because intuitive readings will change your life and stop procrastinating and move forward and be progressive in that area because you've been told and word has been spoken to you numerous times and you sit in fear as if I'm going to do something to you. <laughs> And all it is, a reading is just me and you coming together collectively. When two or more come together, there the divine, the source, the creator, and the angels will be in the midst. That's the way it goes with me. And then we have a beautiful conversation, a flow about what's going on. And it will give you peace and enlightenment and so, so much more. That is unexplainable that I can't explain to you when a reading happens. Only those that get them know what happens when it comes to me and it's always in a loving environment but also sometimes it comes through with discipline and different things because of the binding source and your answers and other people got stuff to say to you which is great because it's the only the readings are only to make you enhance your life you know and, and not to keep you in a setback also we offer spell spell work that would change your life in a very loving environmental professional quality way no no spell work is the same, okay? Not none of them. All of them are uniquely designed with me. So when people send me inquiries, I, I'm gonna stop at this moment because I need to clarify this. When people send me inquiries through my website, you know, they'll say, well, is it like this? Is it this? Is it because you did your research and you're not a practitioner in that aspect? So I am, and I'm not a general one stop, stop shop, pop industry far as in the root work style it's not a, a a mom and pop thing i put this together that no mine's is designed <laughs> by me with your energy and i know what i'm doing so i would say that if this is something that you want that you desire and the divine source have advised you to come to me that's the way it's designed let me clarify um there are not a one-stop shop type deal you know not with me okay with 20 plus years um some people are new to the channel i am a, a spiritualist i am a neo-paganism um you need to look that up i will not put that definition here do your homework and also too i work within the culture that we live in um i am spirit guided and led i do not do bangful magic um, it just, it just all depends. And that's only within my circle that we do that type of work and we know each other and we know what's going on. So if you are looking for bangful type deals, I'm not the spiritualist for you <laughs> because half the time that really is not what you desire when you look at your moral code. All of us carry a certain moral code and normally you're just moving in your emotions. And I always clarify that when I talk with you to let you know, I don't, I, I look at you, your spirit as it comes across and I know certain details that is downloaded through me when I speak. So anyway, I love you. Have a great and wonderful Friday. Don't forget the full moon rituals and intentions video that is up for today to set for the super moon in Virgo. Don't forget to join the altar vigil service. Okay, the numbers are limited, but it's the best investment of eleven ninety nine per candle that you ever get in your life. Why not invest in your life? 
for the first quarter and it continues into the six six to seven months to a year, depending on how the angel spirit guys aligns itself, align themselves with you. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.